What is up everyone? Welcome back to another vlog. Today, surprise, surprise, we are going to LA, motherfuckers. Right now, I got my boy Domi driving me to the airport. Hello. A certified GOAT. So yeah, right now we're uh, making our way to the airport where uh, I will be fined $75 because my luggage is overweight. <laughs> because I put five bottles of, five jugs of fucking sweet tea and a whole ass cooler. But you know what? It's all good. I'm coping. <laughs> There's money bags over here. <laughs> I'm, I'm hard coping around. It's not good. I'm fucked. My wallet's gonna be very empty by the time I go to LA. But yeah, I'll see you guys at the airport. Alright, what's up everyone? So, our friend just dropped me off at the airport. Uh, I just went to the restroom. Uh, and then, I guess now I'll just go check in my luggage. Hopefully it's not overweight, but I'm like 99% sure it is. And then, I guess I'll just go straight to security. Got my luggage. We are at Terminal D. Alright, so it looks like I was supposed to check in at Terminal E, even though my gate's at Terminal D. So now I'm waiting for a bus to take me to Terminal E, where I'll check in and then have to come right back to Terminal D. Just waiting for the right bus to come. I still got plenty of time, so I should be chilling. Alright y'all, what is up? So I just checked my bag in. Uh, bro, I got so lucky. First off, the lady at the counter is a twice fan. She's a once. She recognized my shirt, and she was like, hey, like, I like your shirt. And we just started talking about twice, and I told her, like, hey, like, my luggage is a little overweight. Like, is that fine? And she was like, yeah, that's fine. Like, she just let me. But then this other lady came, and, like, I mean, it turns out I was only, like, a little bit overweight. So good thing I took out some of the stuff, because that lady was just like, hey, like, it's a little overweight. Hey, but as long as, like, you know, just take out, like, one hoodie, and you should be fine. So, I took out my one hoodie, and it's 39.6. So, I don't, like, I guess my scale at house, at my house was, like, really off, because I thought it was going to be, like, 46 pounds, but we're chilling. So, I didn't have to pay any, I didn't have to pay any overweight fees. Got my bag checked in. The people at the front were so nice. Like, they're all super nice. And now, um, I just had to make my way to security. So, yeah. Uh, I'm kind of lost actually, but I'll find my way. Alright, I was so shocked by the events that happened that I forgot I need to go back to Terminal D. So now I need to look for the bus because I'm at Terminal E right now. Alright guys, we finally got through security and now it's time to find our gate. It's D11, and uh, yeah, should be in this direction. Security was, I swear when I got here, there was no line. But by the time I got to a line, there was like a big ass line. So it took me like 20 minutes to get through, but we chilling. Now all that's left is hopping on the flight and going to Ontario, boys. Let's go. Bro, no way there's a Lego store at the airport. We found the gate. Alright, before I leave, I realized I should probably get some Whataburger. So, you know, there's a Whataburger at this terminal. So, I'm gonna grab a drink and take it on a flight before I leave. We just landed. Now I just have to go get my bags. Yeah. I've never been to this airport before, so I'm just following the crowd. Hopefully, they get me to where I need to go. Alright, guys, we just got our bags. Uh, Tench, who I'm staying with, is on his way, so I just gotta wait for him now. But yeah, bro, flying in, seeing the snow covered mountains, so nice. 
but yeah, it's pretty cold over here, so hopefully it won't be too bad. All right, guys, we got my boy Tench right here. Uh, I did, I realized last time that like you were in my video a lot, but I never introduced you. Right. <laughs> like I realized afterwards, I never even said who you were. In twice like, LA. Yeah, in twice yeah. LA. That is Tench. Um. This is where I'm gonna be staying at his place. So he just picked me up from the airport. Now we're going to his house, and then um, uh, we don't really have any plans yet for tonight for dinner. Just gotta hit up. I don't know something something local, you know. Something you want, bro? Look who it is. It's the infamous Toby Tench's dog. Where were you? Just down. Sure, this way. <laughs> oh shit! I got that on tape. Yeah. Bro, this neighborhood smells like cow shit, bro. I can't get used to it for now. <laughs> Yo, what is up, everyone? We about to get dinner, but the wait time is 20 minutes, so we're out here. And look who I am with from the LA vlog, another familiar face. We got my boy Daniel. And uh, yeah, I made it. <laughs> Haven't seen this guy since like Jack in a Box at midnight in the hood. Oh yeah, after the concert. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think I saw you afterwards, but that's like the last time I remember seeing you. I yeah, think we're like, eating at the on the trunks. Everyone's eating at the we're trunks. eating Mexican food. You didn't remind me, then. Yo, we got our food. I already forgot what I got. Uh, what I get again? Uh, you got like a carne asada with mole on it. Yeah, carne asada with mole on it. What did you get? I got enchiladas with mole. Enchiladas. And uh... <laughs> we're still waiting, still waiting on the food. And uh, who's down on the back of the phone? The Isa. Isa. Stacy. Alright guys, we just had dinner. And now we're making our way back to the house. Right now we are in Rancho Cucamonga, which is where CJ Stroud went to high school. The GOAT. The GOAT. And now we're making our way back home for the night. And tomorrow we go to Los Angeles. Los Santos. Look, y'all, we are in the California version of the domain. Let's go get the vision pro today. Bro, playing Pokemon Go here would be so crazy. Did you register in your brain that we have a Lake Ryan? I know it's Lake Ryan. Alright, guys, like, you know, this is like 90% of the reason why I flew here, right? Like, gotta try out the best water in the nation Arrowhead. Gotta give it a review. See if it's as great as everyone says. I'm kidding, everyone says it's ass. So I'm seeing if it's as ass as everyone thinks it says it is. All right, what's up everyone? So we just had some snacks and you know, with some snacks, we gotta get some water to flush it down. So I'll be trying out this Arrowhead water and uh, let's see how truly how ass it is. All right, here we, here we go. Wait, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> this just tastes like an average, like an average bottle of water. Yeah, this is good. There's no like off taste of it. I just, it tastes clean as hell. <laughs> Wait, this is actually good. <laughs> good morning, everyone. I'm gonna try not to be too loud because I'm. I can hear, like, it's currently 8 a.m., but I can hear, like, Tensha's parents and family, like, outside, like, awake and stuff, so, but, yeah, day two of the trip, and today, we are going everywhere, like, I'm saying everywhere, you're gonna see, you're gonna see, anyways, it is Saturday, it's February 10th, um, I just wanna say, Happy Lunar New Year to everyone. Year of the Dragon. Let's get it. Um, hope everyone has a fantastic Lunar New Year. And, um, yeah. Uh, 
Uh, we got Daniel, he's here. We about to head out, we're gonna go to Frankincense. Uh, I've never been, but everyone's hyping it up, so I've got some high expectations. It's like a 20 minute drive from here, so we're gonna see. Oh. Bro, this store is crazy. It's like a, it's like a Sam's Club full of just like collectibles. All right, guys. So we spent a long. Okay, we at first I was looking like we weren't gonna spend a very long time in um, what's it called again? Frankincense. Frankincense. But then there was this one like K-pop store. There was a ton of photo cards. And then afterwards, I realized I wanted a side duck Pokemon card, so we went looking for that too. But that was a crazy experience. Like it, it was just like one big ass flea market thing. And uh, yeah, like I was saying, it's like the size of a Sam's Club. Now it is around 1.30 p.m. and we are going to that place I went to last time in LA that Andre that Abies took us to. The fucking pork, the fermented vegetables with uh, steamed pork belly, I think that's what it's called in English. Like that shit is so good, so I have to get it again now that I'm back. We're here, Bay Allen Cafe. All right, we got the one ton noodles. Got that preserved vegetable with pork belly. And then the milk tea, Hong Kong style milk tea. This is like my favorite Chinese place in LA, I swear. We got Daniel. His first time here. Yes, sir. We also got some tofu and oyster sauce. All right, guys, we just ate like, holy shit. I was gonna get boba afterwards, but I'm full as fuck after that meal, bro. But I mean, they did give us like these unlimited refill, like no tea, so. That's a plus, you know, that 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 is the booty. But I was thinking after the beach I, I could get some, but yeah, anyways, we just finished eating. Now we're gonna have to we're gonna make the drive down to Laguna Beach, which is like holy shit, it's far. It's like an hour away, so it's gonna be a long drive, but we're gonna go there, check it out. Now this is like this is peak California views right here. Like this is what it's like the most stereotypical California look. Oh yeah. God damn. Oh, the cops are here. Oh my god, what beach is this? Alright. It's this big? Yo, we made it here. It was such a long drive, but yo, that sh that was a scenic ass drive. That's like the last like 20 minutes of the drive was so scenic. But yeah, now we're walking our way to the beach, and uh, let's see, let's see how good it is. I'm excited. Dan Luna. All right, what is up, everyone? So we just got back from Laguna Beach. We went on a little hike around the area. Um, Messed around in the water a little, so now my, now my shoes are soaked. And it literally feels like I'm walking on like sponges. But it'll dry out, you know? I'd rather have like clean but wet shoes than like dirty. It was dirty and wet, so you know, I just hosed it down at the, at the public facility they have. But now we are going to a mall. The Source, right? It's called The Source? Yeah. The Source, which is like a K-pop store inside a mall in Orange County. And then we're also gonna get boba, and then we're gonna go to Koreatown. We're gonna go to Chinatown, but on second thought, you know, it's kind of late, and you know, 
already we already went to that San Gabriel area, so that's practically another Chinatown. So also Chinatown LA is like kind of ghetto. So but yeah, now we're on our way to the mall. Peace. <laughs> This damn building. Oh, you can see it. You can see it real quick. That's Angel Stadium. That's where Shohei Otani played, bruh. Fuck. Oh, he's with the Dodgers now, but. Yep. What's this Korean mall called, you know? Oh, that's what it's called? Yeah. What's up everyone? Hopefully the lighting's not too bad because I have the torch thing on, but right now we just finished going to the source. That was like such a unique mall, you know, like you know, I've never really seen anything like that to be honest. But yeah, right now we are going to K-Town to go to a place called Jinso Cook Pop. And uh yeah, we're gonna have dinner there. We're gonna meet up with my line buddy from Luna Houston, because they're from LA, so we're gonna have dinner and then afterwards. Honestly, I don't know. Oh yeah, I have to try boba. I have to try LA boba, you know, like you already know. And then after that, I think we're gonna try and see the Kobe Bryant statue and also like maybe Dodger Stadium. So I think that's the plan for the rest of the night. Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. Look at this, bro. All right, we here. I don't know if you can see it. Jinso Cook Pop. All right, we're at the restaurant Jinso Cook Pop. Uh, I got the number one. Here's my friend, our line buddy from Luna Houston. I'll post the link to your channel in the description. She's got a vlog channel for LA, you know. She also got the number one, and then Daniel is once again waiting for his food. <laughs> All right, guys, we just finished eating dinner at Jinso Kukpa. Now it's like super late. Normally, you know, back in Texas, you'll never see a boba place open like super late, but it's LA, you know. We're gonna go to a... <laughs> There's a boba place called like what boba bear? I forgot what it was called already. And I was like, yo, that's it's a cute, it looks cute as hell, you know? So I looked into it, it turns out it's a hookah lounge slash boba. You know, like can it get any more LA than that? And I'm like, you know, that's some peak vlog content, I'm not gonna lie, you know? I'm sure y'all can agree. But I'm also not trying to get lung cancer, nor am I trying to get beat up by some GTA NPC, you know? So Right now we're gonna go to a what T T T P O coffee I think that's what I think that's what's called. I wanna try this Injomi latte, even though I'm lactose intolerant. But hey, you know what? We out here in LA to try new things, so let's get it. <laughs> All right, guys, I got the Injomi latte. This the quality is so bad, but you know. I forgot how Angel Me tastes like, so I'm gonna try it out. Let's see, let's see, let's see on a one to ten scale how this is. <coughs> I don't think that was gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that powder really got you, didn't it? <laughs> It's good. Mm. Wait, it's all right. You have to mix it. 
Oh, are you recording? Uh, what? Like it, right? I think you might need a mix. <laughs> Give it up. Give it up. Bro, this shit glued my mouth together for like five minutes. It tastes like I just inhaled like a bunch of sand from the beach today. <laughs> and it tastes like cereal. It tastes like cereal. What's that Japanese mochi? It tastes like cereal mochi. I'll give Injomi like a three out of ten. But when you combine it with the drink, it's like a seven and a half, eight. I feel like so it's yeah. It's, it's yeah, yeah, I guess. The flavor stuff's not bad, but the texture is just kind of iffy. Yeah, it's 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 high, you know. Look, it's SM Entertainment Group. It's a SM. Damn, this building's beat up. What the fuck? This is SM. Who's that? Oh, it's Rise. Dude, this is a, this is like, this reminds me of like Harry Potter. I forgot which building. They put a really nice building hidden in like a dumpy ass building for like the muggles, you know? Like the muggles will see a dumpy ass building, but the wizards see like a better building. That That's what this place reminds me of, bro. All right, what is up everyone? We just went to the tea place. Got some tea. I, I tried that angel me. It was, it was I. You know. <laughs> now, honestly, I think we're just gonna head back home. Like, but I just want to say, you know, like special shout out to the security guard. Oh, the lights right. Special shout out to the wait. Oh, he was oh. Like two seconds. Uh, it's late out here. There's not a lot of bathroom rush. I was ready. I really need to take a piss, but that tea shop had the longest line. So we decided to go to CVS. The bathroom was out of order, but the security guy was the goat, bro. Like he was not having a good day, but he still was kind enough to let me to unlock the restroom for me, even though the CVS employee got mad at him. So yeah, shout out to him, the goat. <laughs> or else I'll be fucking pissing on a tree somewhere. And yeah, now we're just gonna head back. Koreatown Galleria, that's where Choice Music is. But they're closed right now. Uh, I know I originally said that we're gonna go home, but I forgot that I wanted to visit the Kobe Bryant statue. So, yeah, right now we are in downtown LA and we are gonna go check out Staples Center and see what's up. We in downtown LA. Sheesh. Bro, this is where the Seraphim was. Are you serious? I should have been here a few months ago, bro. I should have been here. This is a Ben apartment building everyone talking about. <laughs> oh my god, guys, I can't believe it. Wait, the Seraphim was here too. <laughs> Holy shit, guys. We are the Coca-Cola studio. Oh my God, we are at Stable Center. Came here like in the middle of the night, you know? I just got back to my friend's house, uh, took a shower and everything, and uh, yeah, time to show off the haul today, you know? So these are the Pokemon cards I got. So I got two side ducks. This is like apparently super old. Like this is like, according to my friend, I think this came out when I was two years old. So, and then we got this other side duck. All right, now we're gonna open up these. The Seraphim Unforgiven Japan wafers, and uh, yeah, it's RNG. Um, I'm gonna try not to damage the pack too much because I want to keep.
he probably follows the packaging, but. Let's see what's inside these wafers. I think it's, it's a pretty big wafer, what the hell. Oh my god, bro, this thing's huge. Okay, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna put it aside because I, this thing, this floor is carpet. I don't want to make a mess. I'll probably, like, eat in the bathroom or something. But yeah, let's see what photo card we got for the first pack. Kim Chewan. We got Chewan for the first photo card. Alright, one down, two to go. Let's see what's in the second pack. Oh my god, I got Kaza. Let's fucking go. Okay, two for two, no dupes. Let's go. Alright. And then. Last but not least, one more. I was originally gonna get two, so I decided to get three. So hopefully it pays off. Okay, I got Yunjin. Okay, so I bought three packs and none of them were dupes. Let's fucking go, guys. All right, so I also got some stuff from K Place. Since it's just albums, I don't wanna unbox them yet. Because um, traveling might kind of makes like I, I'm, I'm I'm scared I'm gonna lose stuff, so I probably won't unbox this until I get back to Dallas. All right, what is up, everyone? Welcome to day three of my trip. It is Sunday. It is Super Bowl Sunday, and right now I'm with Daniel again, and we are heading over to my friend's place in Riverside for a Super Bowl party. Um, to be honest, I don't even know what team we're going to root for, but, you know, it'll be kind of funny if the 49ers lose so I can see Alex's face. Eat them! Just don't eat the chambers. It's very distance. He won the Super Bowl last year. Come on. Niners did take a timeout, by the way. Reserved a little time. Assuming a wedding for Paul. Let's go! Woo! Oh, you got a lid. That's so good. Yeah, what is this throw? Oh my god. Oh my god. No way. Nah, they cannot take it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Anyways, now we are going to go play some pickleball or tennis. I don't know what we're doing. Pickleball slash tennis. I brought a tennis racket and two pickleball rackets over here for a reason. It's going to be it's gonna be cool, you know? Playing pickleball out of state. <laughs> Playing pickleball with the SoCal boys. Let's get it. We here. <laughs> 10 p.m. tennis coaching session with the SoCal boys. <laughs> we got Omni learning tennis. Future Roger Federer right there. He's even in red. Okay. All right, we played our share of tennis. Now it's time for some pickleball. Pickleball time. Yes, sir. This is the pickleball oh, challenge. This is right a pickleball here. hater. Pickle, pickleball pickleball is tennis for more future. <laughs> tennis for tennis is for Blockberry Creative Meat Riders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's probably fire. 
Woo! Look at all these Jenny Akes. Oh my god, I'm sick. Where's my president? <laughs> Not cool. Where's the? Yeah, where's Nako? Yeah, hiding somewhere. <laughs> yeah, right here, right here, right here. <laughs> right here, right here. Those guys. Yeah. Hey, that's head one in the back, bro. She got every move down. Yeah. Y'all sleeping on her. All right, guys, we just finished the party. I'm with Panache in his car, in his infamous train mobile. <laughs> now we're heading back. We're heading to his house for tonight because it's like really late. Because we spent so much time at his house just like listening to music and stuff. So, yeah, I'm excited to see his Cheon collection. This school looks nice as hell. If you guys, if some of you guys think that my collection is bad, or not bad, but like a lot, look at this man's collection. It's fucking insane. It's so insane. You got Chaeyoung and the Lakers. You're the two loves. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> this is why I'm poor. <laughs> What is up, guys? Welcome to the last of the vlog. We are. I look Oh, okay. we are going to get gas right now. The with the beaver. <laughs> so yeah, today is Pinoy Monday. We're gonna try out some good Filipino food because Dallas honestly really lacks in Filipino food. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, and then uh. I'm gonna try to see if I can say goodbye to Tej. I think we have the time, so. And then also, trying to hit up some good dessert places even though I'm gonna be full. So I need to make sure I get those lactase pills ready. Or else I'm gonna have a hard time on a flight. <laughs> Last day, let's get it. Alright guys, we just went to Tetris house and say goodbye to him. I'll see him next month in Vegas anyways. Look forward to that vlog, you know? But right now, we are going to meet the rest of the boys at the restaurant. I forgot the name of it, but I'll put the link in the description. Alright guys, we got the, di we got the lunch for today. It's glorious egg rolls. <laughs> vlogger and vlogger meat. Yeah. Yo. Alright, I am full as hell. This food was bomb. But now got the insurance I got a review. I'm gonna review all the stuff we tried. Look at all these empty plates. All right, so this was what the garlic fried rice. All right, I'm gonna give that. I'm gonna tell that it's rice. Can't go wrong with rice. I like garlic though. So it makes everything better. This was a pig leg. Uh, the sisig. No, no, that's crispy pata. Pata. Oh, this is okay. Crispy pata. I'll give this. Okay, it was like an 8 out of 10, but when you dip it in this sauce, like, then it becomes a 10 out of 10. What's it called? All-purpose sauce? I'm gonna have to get some when I go home, like, to try to find some. <laughs> but, okay, and then we had the sisig. This was, uh, I'll say 7 out of 10, because I don't really like green bell peppers. <laughs> uh, this one is, uh, palabok. Okay, can't go wrong with that. Um, 10 out of 10 for that one. Uh, this one, oh, adobo chicken. This adobo chicken was way better than the ones that I had in Texas. <laughs> like, it had, <laughs> it had way more sauce than the one I had last time. And the sauce really makes it so much better. And even, it flavors the rice too, you know, you, you screw some of that sauce and put on the, the garlic rice. Fun fact, so. you can get adobo rice at Jollibee. 
Yeah, yeah. But I feel like it's just mad salty. Ten out of ten as well. And then we had the egg rolls. Oh, those are really good. Like we kicked, we kicked our meal off with those. They're nice and fresh. That was an eleven out of ten. <laughs> Oh, the skewers. The skewers. The skewers were really good. Oh, uh, the skewers, I'll say 9 out of 10 because it was kind of sweet. I don't like the sweet kind of put me off, but the smoky flavor I really like. So, yeah. All right, guys, we just ate. Now we're on our way to this place called Cuts for Life to take some photos with twice. Yo, we up. We about to take some photos. <laughs> gang gang all right what's up everyone all right sorry for not vlogging too much especially i mean i did vlog a lot but the, the last like hour so i didn't vlog too much because holy shit i was panicking because i didn't know if i was able to make it to ontario international airport we're supposed to get boba and also we're supposed to go to this mango place and get boba but because the traffic from Covina to here was just so bad, we had to abandon those plans. Well, my friends are going there now, but I can't because I had to check in my bag an hour early. So fortunately we made it with like seven minutes to spare. And now I just gotta go through security and uh, make my way to my gate, so yeah. All right, guys. Like I said, I got some Arrowhead water earlier, <laughs> and today my friend who picked me up is gonna be the first person from Texas to try it. Okay. All right, give That's us your thoughts. It's just water, I swear. Yeah, okay. Kind of tastes like water, but like worse. What do you give it? Like ten out, like out of ten. Mm. It's not bad, but it's like a, it's like a three out of ten. You know? It's not bad, but it's a three out of ten. Yeah, but listen, all <laughs> I'm saying is like, there's not a big range with water. Oh, so oh. Water's like slightly worse, then it's like a lot worse. Oh, know? okay, okay. Look at this guy. We're in the toll booth, and this clown ass drops his ticket. <laughs> so we're in the middle of the road. This guy's picking up his fucking shit. <laughs> All right, you know, got to assimilate back, you know, got to cope with being back in Texas. Got to grab some In-N-Out as my final meal before we head home. Got the animal style fries, the cheeseburger. It'll be alright 